Hello again from Paul's Gardening Love. Hey, I thought I'd give you a little update on a couple of addendums I have here. Um, this one had bloomed back in December. I had it in the house because I live in the desert of Southern California. It's quite cold at night. And uh, I brought it uh, outside. I had it in the garage under a grow light. It bloomed back in December, had beautiful um, uh, purple bloom on it. And uh, I don't know if you can see it right there, but um, it's gonna have blooms again. And uh, here it is, uh, April, almost tax time here in beautiful uh, Southern California. So I live in the desert, like I said. And uh, some of these um, uh, deniums I have picked up from uh, uh, vendors in Thailand and also a vendor from India that far went over there, if you can see it. It really hasn't done a whole lot. It's, it's got another um, sister plant in the garage still. I need to bring out the, the uh, uh, nights are warming up now and the days are quite warm here, almost 100 degrees. Um, thought I would acclimate them on the back porch first uh, and uh, then bring them out. This one, I actually think I burned it with too much fertilizer. You can see that yellowness. It had some dead leaves on it also. And uh, then I have got uh, some little seedlings, come right over here, that I had uh, planted this morning. So there's like 30 in this one and uh, 50 in this little container. So what I'm using is basically uh, um, cactus <coughs> uh, mix. Here's a picture of my cactus mix. And then I found some ground up uh, cocoa peat. I've seen uh, other uh, um, growers that like to use cocoa peat. And uh, uh, it's just basically very coarse. Uh, and uh, I've got some of these little clay balls that I've had. Uh, they help kind of uh, retain a little bit of moisture. And in the summertime, I'm having to grow, uh, basically water them um, during the growing season. Um, another one right here, that one I picked up from Florida. You'll see it's kind of looks a little sick. But what happened is I had a little experiment. I took it out of the garage under the grow lights. It had plenty of leaves. It had, it had leaves that were like that, uh, that adenium. And uh, I thought I would use it as a test plant uh, because... Uh, you know, it was not really growing all that well, and I thought, well, if it dies, it dies, just to see what the nights were like. And uh, it lost all of its leaves, and they're just now, it's been out in the sun for about maybe two weeks now. It's just now, if you can see, it's, it's getting its leaves back. Uh, forgive the background noise. We have the Coachella Fest going on here, a concert, and so there's a lot of uh, traffic. I live on a, a busy street behind me. So forgive that. Birds are uh, squawking at me too because they want to come back to their bird feeder over here. I just filled that up yesterday and it's already half gone. Uh, another, and if you've been following my channel, I've got uh, that lime that I was telling you about. And pretty much uh, all the blossoms have uh, formed into small fruit. Uh, if you can see that right there, we have. Uh, uh, a whole bunch. I mean, it is like covered in fruit. And so I'm gonna have more limes than I know what to do with, really. I have to be giving a lot of them away. But anyways, I thought I'd give you a little update on the addendiums. Um, looking really nice, and I was really excited to see that that one is actually going to produce flowers again. Uh, this one um, was a California grown here in Southern California. It's looking really nice. It also had uh, some leaves that it was dropping. And I noticed that some of these varieties actually lose their leaves before they um, put out flowers and some keep a lot of their leaves. So anyways, thanks again for joining me this morning. I hope you're having a uh, wonderful weekend. It is uh, um, a Saturday morning for me and I will let you go from here. Thanks for watching, bye.